Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I hope the background noise isn't too bad. Hey, everybody. How do you like my hat? This was a gift from my girlfriends. It's one of my favorite hats. It's got a cute little ghost on it. See, he's cute. I got me a nice cold soda. Just so you know, if I look sweaty and red, it's because it's fucking hot where I am. Holy shit. It is a gazillion degrees. In fact, it's so hot that the like local major newspaper, the Seattle Times, published an article this morning telling people reassuring people that it will be cooler tonight. Thank you. Uh, we got some stuff to go over. Um the first thing I want to do is I want to spend some time talking about the one, the only Michael Brooks. Michael Brooks was amazing. Uh, Michael Brooks, if anyone doesn't know, had a um, very sudden medical emergency yesterday and passed away. Um, Michael Brooks was an absolute titan of online leftist media. Precisely. Rest in power, Michael Brooks. Um, and uh, I just wanted to talk about, um, you know, some of my feelings about it. I wanted to recommend his content to everyone who's not familiar with Michael Brooks. Um, Michael Brooks uh, is, I mean, and, and here's the great thing. The cool thing for all of us is that um, although Michael Brooks has departed, um, all of his work is still going to remain. His YouTube channel will remain up all of us can go and dive into the incredible work that Mark that Michael Brooks has done over the last few years. Um, stuff that was incredibly informative to me. Um, in fact, uh, I wanted to tell a small story about Michael Brooks. Um, you know, this isn't like I didn't write anything down for this. I just wanted to talk. You know, you know, straight from you know my brain and my heart. Um, Michael Brooks was uh, one of. If, if not probably the the only source that I that I uh, knew of um, who did good leftist international news coverage in the English language um, with an incredible attention to detail and an incredible amount of compassion and care towards all of the people that he was reporting on and all of the stories that he was telling. Um, Michael Brooks never shied away from telling human stories, from um, delving into incredibly difficult topics um, on an international scale. Um, his coverage of um, Lula uh, da Silva, um, the previous uh, president of Brazil before Bolsonaro, um, was uh, un unbelievable. It was incredible. Um, that story was largely um, brought to the English-speaking world because of the work of um, Michael Brooks and Glenn Greenwald. Um, for all of Glenn Greenwald's, you know, flaws and all my disagreements with him on some topics, um, you know, he reported and and uh, brought a lot of information about what was going on in Brazil to the rest of the world. Uh, my girlfriend actually really got into leftism because of Michael Brooks, and it was my girlfriend who got me into leftism. So I have um, a an incredible amount of appreciation for Michael Brooks. Um, I would not be um, where I am politically today if it wasn't for Michael Brooks. So, um, you know, I don't want to dwell on this for a long time because I know it hit a lot of people um, really hard. If you want to um, see some really amazing tributes um, and, and love poured out for Michael Brooks, I highly recommend um, watching the Majority Report stream from this morning. Um, they did an entire stream in tribute to Michael Brooks. They had on basically every single guest you can imagine from the entire uh, extended Majority Report um, canon. Everybody from Mike from PA um, to, you know, um, Ronald Reagan um, to Andy Kindler. Um, and it was really phenomenal. Very emotional and a really, really a really heavy stream to watch, but I can't recommend it enough. Um, if you were a fan of Michael Brooks, you got to see that they uh, play a whole bunch of clips. Um, a lot of love poured out for uh, Michael Brooks. Yeah, Andy Kindler. Noopy, are you an Andy Kindler fan? Holy shit. Because, like, Andy Kindler is like, like, him and David Feldman fucking kill me every single time. Andy Kindler, I stand Andy so fucking hard. Andy is so funny. Um, yes, like, 
again, one more point for me to use in the in in my debate about why you're my favorite fucking online cartoonist. Owned. I my case grows ever stronger. Yeah, I mean it happened so suddenly, and um, no, sh uh, gynotype, no, wrong, 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 incorrect. Um. Yeah, no, you're wrong. Okay, they are a little bit cheesy boomers, but but I but I fucking love Andy Kindler. Andy Kindler makes me like every time he's on the Majority Report, I I fucking cry laughing. Um, and even though David Feldman was last time he was on Majority Report was pretty uh feeling pretty suppressed. Hey, thank you so much, Snowdrift. Holy shit, five months. Holy shit. Pog, wait a minute. I've been streaming for five months. What the fuck? Okay, now that feels really weird. Um, thank you, Snowdrift. Wow. Okay, that's really weird. I didn't even realize that. Um, damn. Yikers. Uh, oops. Um, thank you for the for the resub. Deeply, deeply appreciated. Your support means the absolute world to me. Um, and uh, wow. Holy shit. Damn, time flies. Yeah, this sort of shit happens so quick. And it's like, it's one of those things that's like... <sighs> Sometimes it feels like you can't... Hey, thank you for the sub. Four months. God damn. Thank you all so much for your generosity. I... Yeah, yeah. You got a first tag and everything. Hell yeah. You're a founder, Snowdrift. Retcon, thank you so much. I deeply appreciate the Twitch Prime sub. Um, Yeah. I did hear about that a ton in Aji. We might actually talk about that a little bit in this stream. Um, but, yeah. Um, let, let, there were a couple of things I wanted to say and recommend. So, first off, if you haven't caught... Uh, if you have never watched Michael Brooks, I highly, highly recommend going onto YouTube and looking up the Illicit History series. Um, most of them are have been um, released uh, for free. Um, so I, I think there's a few that are on Patreon, which I believe are going to be released in the near future. Um, Illicit History is an incredible, incredible look at sort of overlooked or forgotten or important pieces of history um, from a, a strictly international leftist look. And it's fantastic. Um, the Michael Brooks Show has years of, of, of a back catalog that you can go watch. I promise you, even the stuff, like, I mean, because the thing is, is that Michael Brooks doesn't really cover news as much as the majority report does. He does cover news, um, but he tends to cover like specific issues on an international scale. So those, a lot of those episodes are absolutely timeless and there is an entire archive completely for free. If you're going on a road trip, if you're flying, turn on the, t the Michael Brooks show and you are going to be in for a treat because not only is the production quality excellent, not only is the guests excellent. I mean, he's had Cornell West on. He had, um, holy shit, like, he's had Shahid Buttar on a million times. Like, holy shit, what a fucking repertoire of interviews, of uh, spotlights on specific things. F genuinely phenomenal. Um, like, I could only dream of ever producing quality, uh, uh, like, producing content as quality as Michael Brooks did. And in fact, I've been thinking a lot, um, again, about how I want to um, try and bring a more international angle to my own show. And I hope to be informed by Michael Brooks, is, by, by Michael Brooks's work in that. Um, also, Michael Brooks's book um, was just published, like literally a month ago. Um, and, uh, you can get that for like 10 bucks, I think on, on, the uh, um, I think it's on zero books is who published it. Um, a really fucking, um, I'm trying to remember what the title is. Let me grab the exact title. Cause it's got kind of a long title. Um, let me grab it real quick. Let's see here. Yeah. It's called against the web. Um, I'm trying to find. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's not the right one. That's not the right link. It's called Against the Web. Yeah, it's sold out, uh, but you can still get it on zero books, I believe. Here we go. Blamo, there's the link. Um, I, I would highly recommend it. Um, 
Michael Brooks is incredibly thorough in his work. He's incredibly well, like, he, he re researches things with an unbelievable um, devotion that I think you will find incredibly, incredibly valuable. Um, and this is, uh, you know, against the web, a cosmopolitan answer to the new right is, uh, you know, direct, uh, ad directly addressing stuff like the intellectual dark web, Jordan Peterson, this new wave of, um, of like sort of right wing propagation of ideas that we see online so frequently. Um, and yeah, not only would that be a great read for you, but it'd also be a way to support, uh, Michael Brooks's, uh, family, um, in this time, uh, he left a, a lot of people, um, who loved him behind and, uh, yeah, it's been, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's really what it's addressed for. Michael Brooks wanted to create a handbook that would be useful for leftists. Um, I will be reading it. Um, I, I, I know, right. I'm going to be attempting to read a book. I'll probably listen to the audio book to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a. It's a sad time, and yesterday was an incredibly depressing day. Um, I will admit I was planning on streaming yesterday instead of today, um, but I just didn't really feel like it. Um, it really bothered me because um, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss hearing Michael's takes. I'm gonna really miss his conversations um, with international callers. Um, I mean, he used to, the the only coverage I've ever I've even heard on the online left of the uh, stuff going on in Kashmir was from Michael Brooks. Michael Brooks had contacts in in Kashmir who would call him, call into the majority report on Thursdays and talk to him because he was that connected with people all over the globe. Lula da Silva tweeted out an obituary, like a, a personally written obituary of uh, of Michael Brooks. Um, I think it is on audible if not i swear the link i provided has a download to um oh maybe they haven't published the audiobook i was looking at the ebook i guess but yeah um maybe they don't have the audiobook version out yet i know they were planning on doing an audiobook version um but yeah he was one of and in fact, what I would like to watch is I, I'm going to try and find real quick. I wasn't able to grab one before because I didn't think we were going to do this. But I think, you know what? I think it'd be funny if I can find. I want to see if I can find the best of impressions. Yeah, they've got them. Um, they've got a whole thing of, of Michael Brooks impressions. The best of impressions. Holy shit. I'm going to see if we can find a good one and we'll watch it and and we'll watch some of those because honestly Michael Brooks Michael Brooks's impressions were god tier. This guy did some of the best impressions. I mean, everybody know everybody who watches Majority Report knows of the the right-wing Nelson Mandela and stuff like that, but let's just watch some. You know what? Let's watch some. Here we go. Ooh, that's loud. Okay. Let's just, uh, I've been scuffed as fuck with my audio lately. Sorry for blowing up your ears. Or maybe it didn't blow up your ears. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I actually it probably didn't. It probably only blew up my ears. Okay, so we're going to have to adjust this a little bit up. I'm going to have to turn mine down. Yeah, this one, this compilation was the one that was put together by the... Michael Brooks team. So we're going to watch this one together for a while and we're going to enjoy this as our little short tribute to Michael Brooks. Well, okay, this one's long. We're not going to watch the whole thing uh, because it's it's 45 minutes long, but we're going to try and get some of the best. This was put together by the majority by uh the Michael Brooks show themselves by, by the team. However, I would like to invite all of us into a fantasy. This world. is Michael Brooks right here for and those who don't know him. Oh, wait, where's my camera? Released, a picture of President Obama will come up on the screen for an illusory effect. We'll picture a nation of Islam Obama and a meeting of different terrorist factions in the Middle East. Uh, look, some people think that we only need to uh, target suicide bombings at Shia. Other people think that Sunnis who aren't on the righteous path should be a victim of suicide bombings as well. But look, we can all agree 
that we need to have more suicide bombings. We can all get together behind a common goal of restoring the caliphate. And if we don't listen to each other, then the infidels and the great Satan are going to beat us. We need to take a pause and think more about our commonalities. <laughs> Aloha. How you doing, devils? This is Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> I just wanted to call and congratulate uh, uh, Michael Brooks, uh, Michael Jamal Brooks, Matt Wack, <laughs> Dave Clark. I hear the thunder. Dave Grisham, you classed your first 1,000 patrons on Patreon. I knew that investing in you devils was the right call. There is a place that you can find for yourselves in the new Nubian Mecca we're constructing, just as long as you remember your rightful positions. Now, uh, I've told you the secret plan, and uh, I think you're all uh, familiar. Uh, other things you should know. Bill Cosby, innocent. Louis Farrakhan, secret Jew. We're going to add him. <laughs> and uh, Donald Trump, not part of the plan, but pretty fucking funny. So anyways, I want to congratulate now this is everybody. Epic. Uh, thank you. I look forward to more uh, uh, degrading of the white man and various uh, socialist schemes that come out of your Brooklyn delusions before we create the next divine Mecca. And stay away from our women. I'm just saying, devil, enjoy yourself. Until that moment, a lot of luck for <laughs> well, uh, Let me be clear. You know, the white race doesn't disappear overnight. <laughs> but if you look <laughs> at the, uh, the longer trends, uh, white mortality increasing, fewer white babies uh, uh, being born. Uh, look, 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 the, the devil isn't thrown back into a cave overnight. <laughs> the arc of history is long, but it bends towards Sharia. <laughs> <laughs> so you do like, like just Obama is that dude, except it's all like. You have these uh, bitter people in hip hop uh, <laughs> clinging to their gay mafia try to <laughs> silence people like Lord Jamar. Uh, uh, well, what Brother Jamar say is that when uh, 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 the gay Arati got into the hip-hop game, see, 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 a lot of these brothers, they're on the down low. <laughs> and they come out and they talk like they run the game. Meanwhile, I know for I a fact yes. that he sucked Elton John's dick. So <laughs> it becomes kind of uh, difficult to take them seriously as artists. Let me be clear. <laughs> there was a, a gay rapper that flowed. I would give him props. <laughs> but there just has never been one. And there will never be one, I fear. Uh, look, uh, uh, can a gay uh, rapper flow? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. <laughs> I haven't been this deflated in ages. You know, uh, uh, I pride myself. And by the way, this is why this is being released as a podcast. Not for my normal WB show. God tier impersonation. I prided myself on never trusting the white devil ever. And that includes his films, his TV networks. We all know why Bill Cosby got caught up in all those charges. He was going to buy NBC. But I let myself fall into the devil's game and get excited about Black Panther. Only to discover that Black Panther is a little Bill Cosby, pull your pants up, bitch. Doesn't want to do a goddamn thing. He did do Bill Clinton. About international revolution for the black man, and then Killmonger's the motherfucking villain. It's bullshit. I haven't been able to get out of bed for a week. He does a killer Bill Clinton. Still in my we'll Black Panther costume. But I, I, I don't, I don't know whether to wear it or burn it. Hashtag Killmonger was right. That's what I was trying to do. We'll keep fighting. But you won this one, devil. You won this one, honky. <laughs> Black Panther's ruined. A lot of walk for. Uh, good to be with you, Sam. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Uh, look, uh, look. Here's what we're doing with regard to uh, guns. We're mm -hmm. we're imposing a series of uh, sensible measures that everyone can uh, get behind. Greater uh, scrutiny, background checks, greater accountability on the system. I I think that there's no reason. Why reasonable people across the divide can't all agree with this. Psych. 
Psych. Uh, psych. You hear that beautiful music? In the I love background? this one. I do. You hear that gorgeous call to prayer mm-hmm. of my faith, the Islamic faith, the one and truly only faith of God, the one and truly only faith of Allah? Here's what I'm really doing with the guns. Yeah. White people, I'm about to take all your guns. <laughs> I'm coming for you. The fruit of Islam is ready. We're locked and loaded and ready to bear, baby. No more guns. White people are going to have to pray to the only true and living God, the black Psych. God of Allah. <laughs> And bow ties for everybody. You ready for this? Oh, so everybody's got to wear bow ties. And are you saying that um, basically you're outlying guns, but just for white people? Just for white people. See, that's what people got to twist it. Remember I said I respect gun laws? I'm going to over-respect gun laws when it comes to black people. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Yeah, over-respect. Arabs and black people get a lot of guns. Iranian people get the most guns because Iran, obviously, favorite right. country of the world. Uh, Hispanic people are sort of in the middle, so they'll get some. Uh, and then there's a tier system within the Hispanic. Mexicans, more guns. Puerto Ricans, more guns. Cubans, less guns. <laughs> Fuck them. Uh, True, Gina Ragnos. Grand total of how many guns you get? Uh, yeah. Zero. Zero you guns. You got nothing. <laughs> For white people. All it's right. just the, the greatest joy of my life to watch those pale, disgusting, pasty faces fall and to complete and utter desolate sadness as I take away not only their guns, but their culture and their hopes and dreams. I hate the white man. He's of the devil. He was made in a cave in the worst parts of Europe. <laughs> Thank you for the, the follow, Morpheus. Humanity, and I'm so glad to bring him back to his proper state, enslaved to now, the black man. Now, hold on for one second. Well, on. No, stop, stop, let me just Don't stop me. that music. Hold I'm on. president, baby. Hold on. One. Let me right. I'm president, Can't baby. Can really we do that via executive action? <laughs> Uh, I can do that via uh, super Islamo action, which is something you don't even know about. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. Every time I make a public signing statement, there is a secret Quran on the podium. Oh. And that is Allah's law, which supersedes our law. I mean, really, to be honest with you, it's really Iranian law. (laughs) Iranian law, right? Yeah, you know, the irony is, is that Donald Trump's right. We did negotiate a bad deal with the Iranians from your perspective. I see. My perspective is fantastic. So basically, uh, part of that the whole nuke thing was that we now follow Iranian law. Where's Salman Rushdie at? <laughs> <laughs> someone needs to get, someone needs to pay the price for blasphemy around here. All right, Final see. year, psych. <laughs> Just getting started. Sultan up in these, baby. Okay. Somebody well, needs to right. pay the well, price for blasphemy yes, around well, thank here. You. I appreciate that. Watch the Bulls game. It's like having sex with your best friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Suck each other's dicks. Watch the game. <laughs> those ones, those ones, and the and the Muslim ones are really funny because right. he's like he's is the most boring technocrat guy. Right. And like right. stickler for details. <laughs> Hillary's very process oriented. <laughs> I'm like, can we start beheading it. people already? And she's like, no, no, no. We need to file the IRS. We need to go through a proper process. It's the only way to get funded. We're sitting hey, there. We're just thank you, Atomic like, Udon. What if we thought beyond terrorism? What if we had our own caliphate? <laughs> <laughs> I was at an Aspen Ideas Festival. I was sitting there with Hillary Clinton, David Gergen. He still shows up a lot. Brilliant guy. CNN leadership analyst. So wait a second. Uh, Ariana are you Huffington. Saying, are you had, saying that Gergen was also part of the David party? Gergen and Ariana Huffington designed a sleep program for all of our beheaders. <laughs> Our beheaders. And uh, we were really able to innovate. Uh, I iterate. I, isn't that what you were doing? I well, what iterated? we wanted to do is we wanted to disrupt the terrorism sector. So what we the said The American is, caliphate. Yep. <laughs> what if the answer is in geography? We thought we were in a post-geographic world. What if we reinvented it? We could create an Uber of Yazidi genocide. <laughs> God. And we did a fantastic job. Disrupt the terrorism sector, yeah? Big time. How ISIS Obama, is big league. How Obama founded ISIS revealed. Good, Zah. Uh, look, how are Joe, you? Uh, you're one of the good ones, okay? Let me just say that right up front. We're watching right? some of so the... So I tolerate you. Right yeah. now, for anyone who's just come in, we are uh, we are watching some of the best of Michael Brooks's impressions. Um, Michael Brooks... And, and just so you know, if you find this funny, there is literally thousands of hours of Michael Brooks's content out there. Um, in the words of Andy Kindler, um, he was a natural stand-up comedian. All of his stuff has this level of comedy all through it. And God, there's so much. 
there's so much. Hey, Ruffled Bricks, good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Hey, Za, guess what? It's not too late. All of Michael Brooks' stuff is still online and will be online. In fact, his family is making a foundation to ensure that all of his uh, videos and stuff is is um, are going to stay up and still be accessible. So that's fucking awesome. It's never too late to dive into this stuff. And like I said earlier, um, Michael Brooks's content wasn't just news. He didn't just do news coverage. He covers... Um, Topics, if you want like a really good intro to Michael Brooks, start with Illicit History. Just look up Illicit History. He has I think it's like a like a nine or ten part series. Um and yeah, it's like damn. Um oh I can't even imagine that under the thunder. I can't even imagine. Uh, unfortunately, who knows? Maybe we'll know in the future, right? <laughs> um Oh yeah, no, no, Marinara Brooks totally blows Pac-Man out of the water. Um, like, no, no offense to Pac-Man, but like Michael Brooks was serious, like serious about everything that he did. And and Pac-Man, it's not that Pac-Man isn't serious, but I don't think that Pac-Man brings the same level of critique and analytics that Michael Brooks always did. Um, oh, thank you, Gina Ragnos. Yeah, um, go sub to Michael Brooks. I don't know if they're gonna publish. I don't know if they have stuff they haven't published yet. I'm guessing they probably do have a lot of um pre-recorded stuff that they're going to publish but regardless you've got to dive through that library you will find so much good stuff um and we're just watching this is the light content this is his like really 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 good um impersonations but michael brooks is funny in a hundred different ways he doesn't just do impersonations he does some of the best international reporting you can find in the world um is pac-man actually a capitalist i guess that does make sense um Leisha says she wants to keep the TMBS going in some fashion. That makes sense. Uh, I mean, they have a strong team over there. Um, they've got uh, David Griscom, um, Matt Leck, I think works on... Yeah, he works on uh, the majority... Or he works on both the Majority Report and um, and uh, the Michael Brooks show. They've got a good-ass team over there, so I'm sure they can pull some stuff together. Um, yeah, Pac-Man Pac is like a, a boomer. He's like a boomer in spirit in a lot of ways. I don't dislike Pac-Man. And in fact, I listened to Pac-Man for a long time because I liked that he brought like, uh, you know, a really even handed reporting. Um, but I just don't find Pac-Man's commentary to be like in depth enough. I, I feel like he is too married to a lot of like establishment um uh, like a lot of establishment structures. Um, I also don't think that he, uh, his like um, po political imagination expands much beyond what already exists. Yeah, he is a, he's a, oh, he is a ne neoliberal explicitly. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah. So I don't, I don't feel as like nearly as strongly about, um, about Pac-Man as I do about Majority Report and, uh, and Michael Brooks. Um, but, I mean, it's still, it's not that, that Pac-Man is bad. I just don't prefer his, his, uh, commentary. His news reporting is quite good in my opinion. Um, anyway, let's jump back in. I want to watch some more of these cause it's fucking killing me and it's good memories. And I think good memories are good. Um, remembering Michael Brooks and celebrating his accomplishments. And, uh, we're going to look at the Lula tweet. Um, and then we'll probably move on to some of the other stuff I wanted to talk about after that. But let's finish up some of these uh, impersonations. And uh, Hillary's not going to be president. None of these Republicans are going to be president. We all know the long-term master plan. I guess you don't because you're sort of like the help around here. But uh, let me explain to you how it's going to work. <laughs> One term for you. You get to run around, obviously. Uh, me and uh, Skip Gates and Cornell West will still control things behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Two years in. Minister Farrakhan's on the Supreme Court. Don't, exp don't, don't ask me how that's going to happen. It's just going to happen. All right? Then he named Deval Patrick, or as I remember him, Kwame, my classmate, <laughs> at Kinshasa Grammar School. I'll that's tell right. You that's about in the that. Congo. People don't even know this. Fun fact, Ruffled Bricks. Um, Michael Brooks. Okay, so Sam Cedar. Sam Cedar's background on the modern show was stolen and copied by David Pakman. Um which so so David Pakman designed his background literally directly based off of Sam Cedar's background. And of course, Michael Brooks shoots um on 
in the evenings in the same studio that they shoot the majority report in. So they that makes sense why there's some. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can provide the link to this. One second. Let me just uh, let me grab the link real quick. There's this one and there's a second one. I can send you the second one too. Hold on, give me one second. There's the first one, part one. Uh, and part two is right here. I believe the phrase Joe Rogan used. Um, oh, let's do this one for a little bit. We've got a lot. We got a lot of the. Wait, hold on. Does he have the Nels? Okay, so he's got right wing Mandela. Let's. Oh, what? Let's jump ahead a little bit. Wake up with Christmasless glee. I bid sweet farewell, my social justice ally. And with. <laughs> Come on, you old pasty devil. Look at him. They're down. Yeah, no. Um, Pac-Man stole it from 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 Michael Brooks. I don't know about Kalinsky. I don't th think Kyle Kalinsky is super tied to um, Michael Brooks or Cedar or Sam Cedar. I know they've talked to him and they're not like unfriendly, but uh, Michael Brooks shoots in the same studio as Sam Cedar, and Sam Cedar uh, basically gave Pac-Man the background. So <laughs> the MR is. Majority Report is so fucking good. Majority Report is probably my most watched political content. Um, and if anybody, I will literally go to bat about how important and influential Sam Cedar is on in the American left. I I think that um, I think that we will look back in history and people, uh, if you track sort of the the uh, shift leftward you will see a lot of ties to the majority report. Seriously, Sam Cedar does some Sam Cedar and his team do fucking incredible work and they've helped make so many other channels happen. So many other channels happen that are doing such good work. They're noshing with the Jews it makes me sick. <laughs> Things I do for the bigger game plan. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Whitey. Was the night before Christmas when through the White House not a creature was stirring, but the ghost uh, of Millhouse. The senior staff nestled, all snug in their beds. Dreams of a politically correct Christmas danced in their heads. I put on my robe and donned my skull cap to check one last time on my Santa Claus trap. When in the <laughs> North Lawn there arose such a clatter, and I knew it one man, no one thinner or fatter. Michelle's cookies and milk must have done the trick. So I had finally captured dear old Nick. He came to his senses, and I walked up to his cage, and he bellowed and rattled and shook with great rage. Tell me the meaning of this Christmas night ploy. Do you wish to rob the children of their God-given toys? I replied to him calmly. Uh, let me be clear. I'll explain that in a no minute. No harm Morpheus. will come to you or your flying reindeer. I know you have millions of presents to give. Michael Brooks. Christmas has become much too uh, offensive. So now I told uh, old Kringle how the That's world Michael is Brooks today and Brooks. how it's no more Merry Christmas. It's Happy Holiday. How being PC means no religious expression and how each candy cane is a microaggression. He stroked his long beard and sat in a deep silence as I told him how Christians must atone for their violence. When I finished, he made not a movement or a steer and I saw no expression through his thick facial fur. When suddenly he jumped, gee golly, you're right. Who knew it was so wrong to be Christian and white? We must fix this terrible holiday misfortune. What we need is a plan B, a Christmas abortion. <laughs> PC virtues prevailed, our causes aligned, <laughs> and I offered to join him to lead from behind. We rode off on his sleigh, worked all the way through the night to end a the Christmas abortion. Christmas day play. We took Nick's presents, left Christmas trees bare, and replaced Christmas carols with quotes from Voltaire. We changed a manger scene into a public safe spaces and removed all cheer from coffee shop places. By the end, I was tired, sore, and frostbitten, but a Christmas story was finally rewritten. <laughs> with our work done, I cannot wait to see all the children wake up with Christmasless glee. I bid sweet farewell, my social justice ally, and with that he took off, vanished into the sky. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, happy holidays to all, and to all a good night. Yeah, right wing Nelson Mandela! A couple years ago, more relevant in the real proper founding of right wing Mandela, we heard a clip of Rick Santorum claim that fighting Obamacare was the moral equivalent of what Mandela was doing in fighting apartheid. And I sat there and I went, well, Rick is quite right. And ever since then, it's been a character. In Santorum's mind, Mandela comes out and he's like, of all of the injustices in the world, 
that could remind me of the struggle against apartheid. The delivery of health care <laughs> through a private market mechanism. <laughs> None could face the same level of injustice and tyranny <laughs> that Americans face by having an inconvenient website <laughs> so that they are covered in a catastrophic situation. You should fight this. But Sam, <laughs> I am troubled by a lack of seriousness in the GOP field that I see. Really? All of these candidates are true patriots who clearly would like to save America from the destructive liberal socialist tendencies of President Obama. However, I see a lack of seriousness when it comes to foreign policy and family values that is lacking in the field. Really? What is it that you uh, feel is lacking specifically? I think, as I say, a, a measure of seriousness when it came to foreign policy and a willingness to confront the Islamic threat. See, many people don't recognize, Sam, that there is evil in the world. <laughs> no, I think people, yeah, I think that's probably And I think true. if you look at my you don't think that the true Republican experience set <laughs> and skills that I bring to the table, as so I wait continue, a second. Are you suggesting that uh, you, I know right that, wing Nelson Mandela, are going to run for the Republican primary nomination? I know that liberal hosts like to interrupt and be disrespectful, <laughs> and I will be painted into a corner. Comments I made about Buju Banton being correct about gay people will be distorted. All sorts of things will come my way. But I have received a message from God. <laughs> saying that I must run. So God so is So it the... is today that I am announcing later <laughs> that I will formally create an exploratory committee <laughs> to see if a run hey, could be good what to this see country you. needs to save it from creeping socialism. Wow. An open border and terrorists at our front door who do no longer believe in American strength. It is breaking news. <laughs> Right-wing Nelson Mandela has announced that later today he will announce that he's going to announce an exploratory committee. An exploratory, that is correct. <laughs> Got the music, Mandela show. Okay, we need to address this. I never lie to the audience. This isn't fake news. It's not the globe emoji news. It's real news. I don't lie to you. Last week was a setback. And I say it that way for a reason. Because Mike Sonovich, who's a total <laughs> freelancer, he's a loser, talks about the guerrilla mindset. I was in the guerrilla mindset when he couldn't even do date rape years ago. <laughs> he's a man, Rachel. He has priorities. You, they take your kids away. You go, boo I need oh. social security. I'm so upset. Alex, he comes up with a new fucking plan. He tells the audience, he goes, listen to me, you freaking rube. Guess what I just Understand found out? Irony. I just found out a plan B better than plan A. <laughs> Come on, Billy. Let's that go throw around Racism, the ball. conspiracy theories, sexism, irrational thinking, internet scams, and fake water and supplement <laughs> products are only for the general public. But Andy, serious question. Oh, Andy, can You're I... a comedian. You make a living telling jokes, as do many others of your tribe. But now... There are college students who don't like fag and tranny jokes anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. Not to mention great okay, airplane. Okay, I'm going to edit that out. I didn't know by he Jetty said Sanko, that. The funniest man in the history of humanity. And I do mean man because, of course, having a woman do a comedy is like having them drive. Bad results. <laughs> so, in addition shit. to your love of Islam, why do you want politically correctness to choke comedy? Cock of the week and James Gaymar. <laughs> Is going to be joining us to talk about why the crack of the can't week. Code, but they do love trigger warnings. <laughs> okay, so that's a four fucking four minutes. All right, I'm gonna have to clip that one out of there so the VOD doesn't get taken down. Oh my fucking god. Michael Brooks is amazing. Let me see if I can find one of my favorite segments Michael Brooks did. Me too. Me too, Cal TTV. That's why we decided to do a little... I wanted to do a little short tribute because I fucking love Michael Brooks and I'm really going to miss his voice. I'm really going to miss his work. Um, wait, it's called... 
Wait, what was that? What the fuck was it called? Oh my god. It's the... What? Does anybody else remember what it was called when they do the, the Kurt... The, it's like the Kurt Kurt and Kurt show or something? Or the Kurt... What is it? What's the show that they do? What's this? What's that? Oh my god. <laughs> I got me. Hit this again. Come on, come on. Come on. One more time. This is him losing it every time that the Michael. I say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. <laughs> One more time. I have to say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. Same. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I can't. That my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many <laughs> high level important ideas. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I got me. I just get this again. Come on, come on. Go. I have to say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. When, when did he say that? Was that recent? Uh, that was. High level important ideas. It was within the last year and it was referring to a live event he did with the uh, Brett and Eric Weinstein. Oh my God. <laughs> high level important Cringe. ideas like Peter Thiel good, college kids being mean to be bad. By the way, check out uh, Timba on Toast. T I M B A H uh, oh, yeah. dot. Timba on, on toast. toast. Timba, on, Timba on toast is good. Right, right, Gina Ragnos. True. Let me see if I can find that thing. It's the, um, hold on. Yeah, yeah, here we go. This is the one. This is the way. That's one. the one from 17. The Ken, Ken, and Ken show. That's the one. Oh, it's the full, they have the full playlist here. Oh my God. Which is the most recent one? Let's see. I didn't see it yet. Um, We can give it a, we can give it a watch. I'll give it a watch. Uh, Maybe, maybe we'll give it a watch. Let's see. This is the Ken, Ken and Ken show. Let's see. I want to find the Ken, Ken and Ken show from this year. Here we go. Here we go. Up here. So this is uh every every April Fools and Halloween, uh Sam Cedar and Michael Brooks do a right wing politics uh show called the Ken Ken and Ken show. Um Oh, I don't think we have the uptime one yet. We've been going for about fifty minutes or so. Um and then we're gonna Oh, did it work? Oh it worked. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. I forgot. I put that one to um I put that one to whisper people. Um there we go. Um, oh God, Jimmy Dore. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Oh yeah. Um, I wanted to address something before I forget it, which was, um, some people say that Sam is a lib. That is not true. Sam is not a lib. I'm sorry. Um, Sam has been, Sam is, is absolutely a lefty. Um, not only is he a lefty, he's also been basically responsible for there being a left, like any leftist presence on radio at all. He's just had to play his hand, his cards like close to his chest because, um, r American radio is like hella right wing, like crazy right wing. So, um, in order to even have any opportunities at all, Sam has had to play his cards really close to his chest. Um, the majority reports... Um, is basically kind of it's kind of like a sock dem show but keep in mind that every single person on the majority report besides sam is what is more left than sam and they talk about those things on the show and they plug their left wing shows on the majority report so even though the majority report is basically kind of like a sock dem news show it's constantly promoting the work of left people. So, yeah, people can call Sam a lib all they want. And you know what? I don't think he's going to take it personally. But just so you know, you guys should watch Sam because Sam is not a lib. Sam knows exactly what he's doing. He's building a left-wing presence in the United States. But he he's kind of taking the fall and having to do the libby stuff in order to actually make it viable on the on the internet and on the radio and as it's become more viable the show has progressively gotten more left that's why a lot of people say oh it used to be more libby and now it's more left wing um that's intentional that's intentional 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, Rush Limbaugh built a radio empire. Rush Limbaugh is doted upon by Clear Channel, which is a super, super right-wing, hyper-capitalist um, radio publisher that owns most, like, like an enormous chunk of, um, controls enormous chunk of, uh, of, of radio in the United States. United States radio has been basically completely fucked for a really long time because of uh, people like Rush Limbaugh. Yeah. So let's watch this. I love, I want to see if this is a, I, I'm trying to remember if this is the one I remember. A Ken Ken show, Ken 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 show is so good. Wait, really? That's so pathetic. God damn. We got to get more left wing podcasts out there. Holy shit. We can do so much better than Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck. Holy shit. This to be a totally empty Fenway park. Uh, nobody's here because uh, there's a bunch of people who've apparently believed the hoax. And uh, I had to uh, basically uh, walk in through what was more or less, more or less, uh, an empty gate on the street that I still call Yaki Way because that was its original name. And he was a great man. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, I did. Uh, joining me. Uh, I can't even imagine that. It's hard to imagine. The new garden uh, is uh, Scott So. And of course, we have the new dork back at our uh, studio. And um, Stinky uh, Brenbrand is around too somewhere, but I don't know where he is. Uh, uh, Scott, he's, so he's, the, he's the carrier. He's got the first virus from China. What's going on uh, over at uh, at, at uh, the garden? It's a little disappointing, to be honest. I thought that more people would be here. I thought that more Bruins <laughs> fans would not believe in the hoax. But we're here. We're going to uh, watch some highlight reels later. Yeah, that's great. Uh, but you do realize it would have been uh, not uh, hockey season there. That's why you don't play hockey in, in April. So I'm a little slow. All right. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, anyways, we got a lot to I talk about. I do like about. the 1990 shade stuff. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, uh, these are actually, uh, th these were not uh, cheap either. Uh, Where did you get we them got from? a bunch of stories that we're going to get to. First off, uh, McConnell admits impeachment is uh has distracted everybody from responding uh to the hoax and uh along those true lines, the numbers don't add up get back to work people okay and on top of that uh world net daily has a story on the chinese cover-up and of course uh the uh new report that the clinton loving dr fauci won't release his phone records uh so that people can see whether he's been calling hillary clinton or not uh, and uh, typical Kennedys, the Kennedy senator, uh, Senate, Senator, Center, hides its endowment. And then uh, more lib, do as I say, not as I do. The director of emergency management in Sonoma County, Sunbay, at the beach. Okay, so, yeah. These guys you do, can't help themselves. They you can't do help what themselves. I say, but don't do what I do. That's the way the libs do it. I bet you. He and I say it. a man sunbathes never. I, I, I bet you he got there uh, in a plane too, right? Because of global warming. And uh, the liberal media attacks uh, my pillow CEO because he likes God. And that is uh, against the law, apparently, in uh, America, if you're liberal, to like God. So uh, let's get to some stories. This is a big uh, story that everybody sort of knows but doesn't really know. And uh, that is, uh, of course, how not only is coronavirus a huge hoax perpetrated by the libs and the Democrats, or I should say the lib Democrats, but it's also, it's also <laughs> they, uh, they, they staged the whole impeachment hoax to distract Donald Trump from the coronavirus hoax. Here's Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Uh, admitting it. Yes, with exactly. The great Hugh Hewitt. Let me talk to you a little bit about Senator Cotton. Politico yesterday recognized him as the first to the bell. In your experience in the Senate, was Senator Cotton the first one to say, hey, leader, hey, Mitch, this is a deadly situation I do not trust the Chinese? Was he first? He was first. And I think Tom was right on the mark. And it, it came up while we were. So, yeah, we won't watch this whole section. I, I highly recommend the Halloween Ken, Ken, and Ken episodes. They're fucking phenomenal. Um, they're really, really, really good. 
and yeah, they're, it, it's it's parody of right wing radio, which I grew up listening to right wing radio with my parents, and I can tell you they are shockingly accurate, down to even the fucking Boston accent, because half of the people in right wing radio were based right out of Boston, um, which is, uh, I mean. Partially because of Rush Limbaugh, partially because of, uh, I don't know, a whole bunch of other factors. <sighs> Had a healthy loose, lucid dreaming phase. Hey, nice. Um, Yeah, Howie Carr. Howie Carr is fucking crazy, dude. Holy shit. Fucking Howie Carr is unhinged. Oh, my God. Yeah, Howie Carr is like, whew. Ooh. Oof, za. That's a that's a real oof. Yeah, Rush Limbaugh is a monster. He is a terrible human being. We should actually. I should do some fucking Howie Carr shit. He has some like horrifically bad clips. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. It just sucks. It sucks so bad. Well, I wish at least one part of Rush Limbaugh well. 